Hey everyone, Hybrid Toy Reviews here, just wanting to remind you all about these figures that I'm doing a raffle style giveaway on. We're trying to raise some funds for a big Toys for Tots shopping spree. I'm going to link the video with all the information in the description below. Let's go ahead and get into this review. Hey everyone, Hybrid Toy Reviews here, wanting to take a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Gaming Greats 13th Battalion Trooper from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It's a really cool looking clone trooper repaint. Without further ado, let's get into the review and we'll take a look at everything we're getting here. You guys know how it goes. As always, we're going to start by taking a look at the packaging first. This is our standard Galaxy packaging with a window, which is going away soon. Um, and so it has your standard Black Series logo up top. Big window showing the clone as accessory off nicely. You have the kind of hollow foil gaming great sticker there. I love that sticker. It just makes me happy every time I see it. You got Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order in blue. Uh, 13th Battalion Trooper, warning, 4 plus Hasbro. This side of the box features some cool artwork of the clone standing there holding his blaster. This side of the box features your wraparound window, your Gaming Greats logo up top again, your blue stripe wraparound, and your Black Series logo, of course. Around back, you got your Black Series logo, a zoom in of the artwork, the Jedi Fallen Order logo, and then a bio in varying languages. It's actually rather descriptive. It's better than most bios. You know, it's better than the Kenobi ones, which is say Kenobi was 10 years after this movie. All right, now it actually tells you that they're... Uh, battalion was nicknamed Iron Battalion, which I didn't even know. So that's kind of cool. I love it when they like give you like little details like that. That's sick. He's number 12 in the new Gaming Greats lineup. You got a bunch of legalese, attentions, and I don't know, 42 different languages. Uh, Sad Onion Baby, uh, Disney Hasbro. Bottom of the box features legalese and a barcode. Top of the box features your hanger tab and a little window, which allows a little bit of light to get into the box and make it look a little bit nicer if you're displaying it in package. I'm not a loser, though. I open my toys, so let's go ahead and do that. So here's the trooper standing on my table. Let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories like we always start with. He features the standard Clone Trooper Shorter Blaster, looking really nice in a dark, dark gray, almost black color. There is no paint on it, that is just the plastic color, and it works out rather nicely for what it's trying to show off. We, If you are in any way a semi-serious collector that picks up a lot of figures, you probably already have like a thousand of these in your collection. But it is obviously a must-come-with accessory. Looking at the clone, you know... Um, the, the, the paint is the new thing. I, I, I'm not going to drag this review out super far. Um, this is your standard new clone trooper body in a mustard yellow color. Um, looking rather nice, I will say. I do like the design of these guys, which is a Jedi Fallen Order thing, not a gaming greats thing. Um, I do like just the big V on the chest. It's different, you know, typically, you know, it's just a bunch of little line work. You know, I mean, this is like really bold. I, I do truly like what's going on here. Um, nothing really going on below the knee. You got some stripes on the thighs. You got some stripes on the biceps, shoulder pads. The uh, lower jaw area of the helmet features your mustard yellow with a little arrow on the chin. And then like a stripe going down the center of the head, straddling the white strip on the top of the helmet. All the paintwork works around back and matches the front rather nicely. And so, yeah, it's just a different clone trooper. Now, something I kind of intend on doing with these guys... Because let's be fair, we don't have a Taro Japal, we don't have a Padawan Cal figure. Um, this is really our only Republic era Jedi Fallen Order figure. And I do this with a lot of the other clones too, whenever there is like a feasible application. Um, seeing that he's a mustard yellow one and we don't really have any of them from his battalion, I think these guys are going to end up next to Bly on the shelf. Um, the Camino security clones from a few years back kind of just have ended up next to Wolf. The uh, Bad Batch, you know, Coruscant security clones, and it does work a little bit better since they are his, go next to Fox. Um, you know, I, any blue clone troopers ended up by Rex. And uh, so even though these are not the same battalion, and you know, I finally have some yellow grunt clones I'm going to put them with Bly until there's a better, you know, option here. Um, something I do like, they, they are not the same, but their yellows are not that far off. It's a comparable dis difference to the Clone Wars 212th Walgreens figures we got, and then the, like, 
older Commander Cody, where the oranges are a little different, but, like, you look at them and you're like, yep, those are his. So, you know, these are not bad. So, not not his clones, but I think on the shelf I'm going to lump them together, just on my general Clone Wars era shelf. But, anyway, let's run through articulation. Features the double barbell neck, allows him to look that far up, that far down. He can rotate pivot. Arms can come up. If you bring the shoulder pads up over the torso, you can come to a true T pose. 360 at the shoulder, in and out butterfly joint, single jointed elbows, and go a little bit past 90 and rotate. 360 on the wrist with lefty hinging in and out, righty hinging up and down. Mid torso ball joint allows me to crunch that far forward, that far back. He has some side to side pivot and rotation. His legs can kick that far apart. And kick that far forward, tiny bit back, upper thigh rotation. Single joint knee can go past 90 and rotate. Feet can point straight down, pretty far forward. And there's a little bit of a forward pin allowing some ankle pivot, which will get you some good stances with both feet spread apart while the feet are flat on the ground. To do some size comparisons, um, just to bring them back, the Commander Bly, and then... Obviously not as commander anymore, but how about the gaming greats Cal Kestis, who he seems a little bit taller than, which I feel is rather fitting. Sorry, the batteries are dead, so no spinning stand on this finale. But, end of the day, what do I think of the 13th Battalion Clone Trooper? You know, I, I really gotta say, I dig it. Look, I'm a Black Series collector. I can give you gripes about Hasbro on any given day. But, like, you know, we gotta admit, we're kind of in a, a tiny good moment lately with, like, prequel clone troopers. They've announced, you know, that next year we're gonna have a bit of a Clone Wars focus in addition to just Return of the Jedi. Um, we're getting, you know, the 13th Battalion, which is a clone legion that was just seen super briefly in... You know, a five-minute playthrough flashback from Jedi Fallen Order. We're getting Mace Windu's 187th Battalion. You know, we're getting our Republic Commandos in the Gaming Greats line. You know, we've got some good stuff coming. I mean, we've got some good stuff that we've been getting in the last couple of, you know, weeks, months. You know, we're, we're getting a nice little dose of clones here, and I really hope that they keep it up. Um, it does seem like it's not that much, considering the sheer volume of everything else that we get um how for every clone trooper we get 30 mandalorian and original trilogy figures but you know i mean we're, we're still getting a nice little amount and this is one of those figures where when jedi fallen order came out i was like yeah that'd be neat but i also knew we weren't gonna get it you know we were gonna you know we were gonna get cal Kestis and trilla and that was gonna cover the game and i do want the other mains you know i want seer um you know, Seer is like a must-have on my Jedi Fallen Order shelf, because at this point it's become a shelf. But, like, you know, this is just a really fun figure. Uh, you know, do I recommend it? Absolutely, I got two. If you don't have any attachment to it, it's also a passable. I get it. It's not 501st, it's not 212th, it's not a shock trooper. But, like, this is a really good one. And I'm just going to strongly say this is a good one. I'm happy I have it. If you can get it, I think you'll be happy to have it, too. So I'm going to go... Thanks for watching. It means a lot that you did. If you enjoyed, you should leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that end of video stuff. You all know the drill. I'm going to go to work on some other videos. So until next time, may the Force be with each and every one of you. Bye.